Alright guys, welcome to the Golden Sun Ice Pillars tutorial. Have you ever played that game, Golden Sun? Some of you might remember being able to freeze ice pillars. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to be doing something similar today, so go ahead, load up your RPG Maker VX, and let's get started. First thing you want to do is make the map where these ice pillars will be. As you can see, I have mine arranged like so. Now we're going to need four different switches for this to work. We are going to need a freeze switch, a walk under switch, a freeze grow switch, and a freeze jump switch. Please ignore the missing second switch, that was my mistake. But moving right along to our first event, the sphere. The sphere is what the player will touch to activate the freezing. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. I have a text here, activate rapid freeze, show choices yes or no. When yes, I play a sound effect and make the player wait. And I flash the screen just because I like it, it's a lot cleaner for me. What we really need here are these three switches. Freeze jump equals off. Walk under equals on. <coughs> freeze equals on. On your second event page, same as character's action button, switch freezes on, nothing happens. Also make sure that walking and stepping animation are both clicked. And the priority and trigger is the same for the first event. Let's take a closer look here at the actual pillars. For the bottom half, I believe these are all the same. It's going to be a below character priority with an action button trigger and a walking animation. The graphic, very simple, it's in tile set D, if you still have a tile set D that is. And it's going to be this little puddle. This can be whatever you like. And this is just going to be nothing, very blank, very easy to make. On the second page, it's going to say switch freeze is on, parallel process as the trigger, priority is below characters, and the graphic is going to be this little rock thing right there, the ice rock. With the control switch freeze grow equals on. On the next page, switch freeze must be on, and switch freeze grow must be on, priority below characters, trigger parallel process, and the graphic is also going to be the bottom half of this pillar. And then you're pretty much done with your puddles. And you're going to copy and paste this for each one here, as you can see. Okay. Moving right along, the tops of the pillars. For the tops of the pillars, we're going to double click. You're going to make it the top, walking animation. Priority is above characters. Don't worry, the trigger is player touch. Conditions, freeze grows on switch, and the walk under switch is on. On the next page, the priority will be to below characters, and the trigger will be player touch. Condition switches, the freeze jump is on, switch freeze grows on. And for this we're going to do a set move root player event. Ben has a jump sound, I use a cursor sound, just because it sounds okay. And we're going to do jump plus two plus zero. Don't set any of the options, just okay it. You're good to go. Then on the final page, don't worry about this. Use that blank switch you have. It won't worry anything. Flash screen, exit event processing. For switch zero 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 two. Don't worry about that switch for now apply OK. And this is going to be the same thing. And now this third one here, walk under freeze grow, above player touch. Freeze grow, same thing, except you're going to turn up for this one. Just because we're jumping up to this little spot here. 
And on the third page, nothing as well. Okay. Now up here, everything rapid freeze. That's just what I named it. The priority is going to be below characters. The trigger is going to be player touch. It's going to play a sound effect. It's going to make you wait, and it's going to turn the self switch A on. When self switch A equals on, it's going to turn freeze grow off and it's going to turn the freeze off set event location it's going to set this event to the direct designation of up here what this does is it enables the player not to go back and activate that same thing again Okay. then it's going to control self switch A off to go back to this and it's going to exit the event processing. Also make sure that this is set to parallel process with the priority of below characters and that the condition self switch A equals on. <clears throat> For this event here it's very simple. This is just going to set the event location for the end everything rapid freeze back to there as well as it's going to make you jump down. Make sure the priority is set to player below characters and the trigger is set to player touch. Okay, now right over here on the steps, this event, walk under is on. It's a below character player touch. It's going to turn the walk under switch on and it's going to turn the freeze jump switch off. This event is also a below character player touch, except it's going to turn walk under off and it's going to turn freeze jump on. What this does is it makes the player able to walk beneath these pillars when they're not about to jump. So you can walk up, walk back down, and still walk under these pillars here. I'll show you what I mean in a few moments. For our last couple of events, this event here, if switch freeze is on, it's going to give you the jump. Below characters, player touch, and this just sets the jump in motion. And I added some shadows here, as you can see, just to you know add some more depth. And what these little events here do is it just makes the player unable to pass. The so same as characters, parallel process, that's all you really need. Okay, let's go ahead and let's test this out. Okay, so this part here, what happened was since I have my webcam plugged into my computer and I'm doing audio through that, it causes something funky to go on with RPG Maker, so I'm just going to be narrating this part. Okay, so this is the playthrough. As you can see, we have our sphere. That when we activate it, yes, flash screen, and then bam. And you can go ahead and walk behind them now as well. And there are sound effects, like I said, though there is no sound for this particular playthrough. And you're going to be jumping, 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 and then it will shut down best part about this is you can jump right back down go right over activate it again so best of luck for all you RPG makers out there I want you to use this to your advantage and hopefully make some pretty cool puzzles with it and without further ado thank you for watching my video and take care